All right. So these are the herbs for organs. We went over some of the herbs, um, a large majority of the herbs um, that we sell um, Sunday. But for example, here it is, hawthorn, mm -hmm. hawthorn berry is a very essential um, herb for the heart. But we will also mix hawthorn berry mm. with garlic and cayenne pepper, which is red pepper. Those three together, cayenne pepper can stop a heart attack in 30 seconds. Garlic can stop a heart attack in 30 seconds. Hawthorn berry regulates the heartbeat. So if a person have arrhythmia, if they have heart palpitations, then hawthorn berry will be used to regulate the heartbeat. But the garlic and the cayenne pepper oh, wow. can stop a heart attack from happening in half of a minute. So if a person have a heart attack and you see them, you can give them a, a clove, a bub of garlic, uh, one bub of clove of garlic, as they call it, or you can um, give them um, cayenne pepper. If they can't take it um, internally, you can actually take the cayenne pepper and put it in the palm of their hand and smear it into their palm and it would still do Wait. the same thing. Wait, I'm sorry, brother. You said you can put you can put you the can garlic take, right in, in their hand. The garlic right in the palm of the hand, right here, right there. Yeah. Smear it and it will stop the heart attack. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here taking notes. Um mm -hmm. it kind of it kind of went in and out. That's why I right. just wanted to make sure. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. right. Yes. Yeah, well, that's, that's mm-hmm. So um it says here that hawthorne extraction, 500 milligrams once or twice a day can be taken. Um, that of course, once again, can be along with cayenne pepper and garlic. Cayenne pepper and garlic. All right. Now for the lungs, mullen. Mullen is very good, but even then we will mix with the mullen cayenne pepper. Also with mullen, we would do what is called bear claw. All right, bear claw. The other name for bear claw is what, Queen? Osha root, O-S-H-A, Osha root. But it is also called by the Native Americans bear claw, Osha root. Mullen and cayenne pepper will help to remove any problems mucus wise with the lungs. You can also add eucalyptus, rosemary, turpentine, which is pine oil, spearmint, peppermint, and actually you can mix those together and it would be just like a natural Vic rub, all right? Back in the days, they would, um, the older folks would take Vic and put on the chest of a child, male or female, who had breathing problems or lung issues, too much mucus in the lungs. Within a matter of minutes to hours, the child would be up running all over the house again. All right. For bloating. All right. For bloating, you have organic coconut, activated charcoal, and one fourth teaspoon in water. All right. You can also use um, several other herbs. You can use marshmallow root, slippery elm, psyllium husk. For these issues, you can also use aloe ferox, F E R O X, ferox. So I spell it F E R R O X, but it's called oh, okay. aloe ferox, aloe as in aloe vera, is the cousin oh, okay. to the aloe vera plant. But the roots go 90 feet down into the ground and absorbs a lot of nutrients, minerals, and vitamins. All right. You can also take what is called Casa Negrada. 
Casa Negrada, all right, which is another um, herb in which that is good. Senna, S-E-N-N-A, Senna. Right. Now for the liver, we have milk thistle. You can take three times per day, but milk thistle along with dandelion. Milk thistle's cousin is dandelion, and dandelion works very well with milk thistle in order to cleanse the liver as well as also the kidneys. All right, and as you see here, you see the word kidneys and you see dandelion right there. Mm. All right, and also chaga. Mm. All right, as it says, changa. No, oh, changa. All right. But dandelion, dandelion and milk thistle helps clears the liver and the kidneys. Dandelion and milk thistle. All right, as you see here for the colon, you see ginger, aloe vera, which we also call aloe ferox, and casa negrada, as you see here, senna, as we just talked about. So the same thing which they have for bloating is the same thing Wait, we use. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can see the screen. All right, the same thing which that we have for bloating is the same herbs that we would use for the colon cleanse small and large intestines. The Casa Negrata, the Senna, mm -hmm. all right? And it says right here, two grams before bed with lots of water, all right? That includes if you're going to do psyllium hus, slippery elm, marshmallow root. All of those are what's called mucilagins. Helps to remove mucus from out the body, in particular in the colon. Then you have brain. Mm. You have lion's mane and a cupa. But really, the herbs in which that we use, we use ginseng, guanacola, and ginkgo balaba. Those are the three herbs that we use called. Brain food is also referred to as we call it triple G. The triple G. Guadacola, uh, what, what was that last one? Guadacola, ginseng, and ginkgo balaba. B I L O B A. Oh, ginkgo balaba. Those three oh, herbs okay. are excellent for the brain function to prevent strokes, to increase circulation in the body and also to get rid of bacteria and viruses, right? Then you have the eyes. You can use sea buckthorn oil, or if you don't have the oil, you can actually use um, sea buckthorn tea. You can also mix that with saffron, yellow dock, golden seal, eye bright, and bilberry. Mm. Those are the herbs for the eyes. Mm. All right, those are the herbs for the eyes. Mm. Right, we also have for the sinuses, black seed oil. All right, black seed oil. You can also use castor oil. You can also use turpentine, one teaspoon with castor oil or one teaspoon with date syrup. Mm. Some use blackstrap molasses, some use a sugar cube. Next you have the lips, shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, These are the butters in which that is good and excellent for the lips. Bees wax can also be used. All 
right? And then for the ears, they have lion's mane and bacopa, once again, which is the same herbs for the brain. They have it for the ears. All right. Yeah. Then you see the teeth, the same herbs in which they have for bloating are the same herbs that they have also for the teeth. All right. In this case, they have miswack powder, mm. which is actually, um, miswack is actually, um, if you ever seen Muslims chew on what they call a chew stick, chew sticks or miswack. And they grind it up into make a form of powder. Most of the time it is in a stick form and it is licorice with other herbs that are um, in powder form that is on the stick, such as um, at our store, we have peppermint, grape, strawberries, cherries, vanilla, and plain licorice. So these are the miswack sticks that we have, which can be grounded up into a powder in order for the teeth. But as you also see, once again, coconut oil and activated charcoal. Also, you can use black walnut for the teeth, black walnut for the teeth. Then you have here for the joints, your curcumin, and Baswala blend. All right, also what's good for the joints is comfrey, alfalfa, horsetail, all right. Horsetail has about 85% silica. Silica is what you need for the bones along with magnesium. So chlorophyll base, the most chlorophyll based herb is Corella. Next is spirulina or blue green algae. Mm. Those are also good for the bone because of the magnesium content and calcium. Mm. Okay. All right, so let's look at the herbs and their magical properties. All right, um, we're going to look at some of the herbs, mostly of the herbs in which that we already have and which that we've spoken about. A lot of the herbs I'm going to bypass because um, a lot of people don't have these herbs that are readily available. But here we have alfalfa. Alfalfa is used for prosperity anti-hunger money. Most people have in their home all spice. All spice is not just used for um, canning fruits, but it is also used for money, luck, and healing. You also have almonds, uh, money, prosperity, wisdom, aloe, protection, luck, angelica root, Angelica, exorcism, protection, healing, and visions. Anise, protection, purification, youth. Apples, love, healing, garden magic, immortality. Avocado, love, lust, beauty. Bamboo. Protection, luck, hex breaking, wishes. Banana, fertility, potency, prosperity. Barley, love, healing, protection. Basil, love, exorcism, wealth, flying, 
protection. A lot of people have been coming into our store and getting bay leaves. That's for protection, psychic powers, healing, purification, and strength. Bay leaves. Mm. All right. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Beats is for love. Birch, the birch tree is for protection, exorcism, purification, and cleansing. Blackberry for healing, money, protection. Bladder rack for protection, sea spells, wind spells, money, psychic powers. Blueberry, which is also bilberry, is cousin for luck and truth. Or, excuse me, in this case, protection. Buckthorn. Oh, Bushu. Bushu is for psychic powers and prophetic dreams. You can take Bushu internally and can um, help um, heal diabetes. Buckthorn. Protection, exorcism, wishes, legal matters. So you have legal matters, you could use buckthorn. Burdock. Burdock is for protection and healing. Cardamom. Cardamom is for lust and love. Carrot is for protection and health. Carrot is for fertility, lust. Um, Casagra um, Sangrata is for legal matters, money, protection. Cashew is for money. Castor oil is for protection. Catnip is for cat magic, love, beauty, happiness. Cedar wood, which is what is called tuja leaf, which is good for this corona thing in which that is going on because it removes vaccines, poisonous vaccines and toxins from the body, but it's good for healing, purification, money, protection. Celery is used for mental powers, lust, psychic powers. Chamomile. Money, sleep, love, protection. Pur excuse me, purification. Cherry is for love and divination. Chickory is for fertility and love. Christanthium is for protection. Cinnamon is for spirituality, success, healing, power, psychic powers, lust, protection, love. Shit, cinnamon is for everything that we just made mention of the, of the other herbs. You can use that by itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, cloves is for protection, exorcism, love, money. Clovers, as in red clovers, which we also use for protection, money, love, fertility, um, fidelity, um, exorcism, success, and luck. Coconut, all right, and some... Um, coaches, they do coconut divinations. They'll use coconut shell to, to, de, um, to divine and find out what's going on. But coconuts is good for purification, protection, and chastity. Black cohosh is used for love, courage, protection, potency. Comfrey is good for safety, doing travel, money. All right, comfrey. Coriander is for love, health, healing. Corn, protection, luck, divination. Corn flour is for psychism. Cotton for luck, healing, protection, rain, fishing magic. Cucumbers for protection, fidelity, exorcism. Curry is good for protection. Damian is good for lust, love, visions. Dandelion is for divination, wishes, calling spirits. Dill is for protection, money, lust, and luck. Dogwood, all right, is good for wishes and protection. Dragon's blood. Is for love, protection, exorcism, and potency. 
Dulce is used for lust and harmony. Dock, which would be yellow dock, burdock. Any dock is used for healing, fertility, money. Echinacea is used for strengthening spells. Elderberry or elder is used for exorcism, protection, healing, prosperity, sleep. Eucalyptus, healing, protection. Eye bright for mental power and psychic powers. Fennel is used for protection, healing, purification. Thing you greet is for money. Fifth of few is for protection. Fig is for divination, fertility, love. Flax seed or flax is used for money, protection, beauty, psychic powers, healing. Frankincense for protection, exorcism, spirituality. Gangling gum is used for protection, love, health, money, psychic powers, hex breaking. A lot of people don't know the science behind gangling gum. Um, as of yet, but they will. Garlic, protection, healing, exorcism, lust, anti-theft. All right. Geranium, geranium is fertility, health, love, protection. Ginger, love, money, success, power. Ginseng, love, wishes, healing, beauty, protection, lust. Golden seal, healing, money. Guadacola, meditation. Grape, fertility, garden magic, mental power, money. Ground ivy, divination. Hawthornberry, fertility, chastity, fish and magic, happiness. Henna, healing, hibiscus, love, lust, divination, hydron the conqueror, money, love, success, happiness. Hops, healing, sleep. Horse chestnut, money, healing. Horse tail, snake, charming, um, and fertility. Um, huckleberry, which is bilberry, blueberry, they're all part of the same family, but love, protection, dream magic, hex and um, hex breaking. Hasset, purification, protection. Irish moth, or as we say, sea moths, money, luck, protection. Ivy, protection, healing. Jasmine, love, money, prophetic dreams. Juniper, protection, anti-theft, love, exorcism, health. Lavender, love, protection, sleep, chastity, longevity, purification, happiness, peace. Limit, longevity, purification, love, friendship, Um, lettuce, chastity, protection, love, divination, sleep. Licorice, love, lust, fertility, fidelity. Um, life everlasting, longevity, health, healing. Lily, protection, breaking long love spells. All right, so we go to the M's and on here. Uh, 
Majorum. Protection, love, happiness, health, money, healing. They don't get, let me see, they don't see. Mugwort. Mugwort. Strength, psychic powers, protection, prophetic dreams, healing, astral projection. Mulberry. Protection, strength. Mullen. Courage, protection, health, love, divination, exorcism. Mint, money, love, luck, healing, exorcism, travel, protection. Mistletoe. Protection, love, hunting, fertility, health, exorcism. Myrrh, protection, exorcism, healing. Spirituality. Nato, nettle, exorcism, protection, healing, lust. Um, organ grape, money, prosperity, papaya, love, protection, parsley, love, protection, purification. Peach, love, exorcism, longevity, fertility, wishes. Pear, lust, love. All right, Penny Royal, strength, protection, peace, pepper, protection, exorcism, peppermint, protection, well, purification, excuse me, sleep, love, healing, psychic powers. Pine, healing, fertility, protection, exorcism, money. Pineapple, luck, money, chastity. Pistachio, breaking love spells. Plums, healing. Potato, image magic, healing. Pimrose, protection, luck, love, excuse me. Mm. Raspberry, protection, love. Rose, love, psychic powers, healing, love, divination, luck, protection. Rosemary, protection, love, lust, mental powers, exorcism, purification, healing, sleep, youth. All right, saffron, we told about that was good for the eyes. It's also good for love, healing, happiness, wind rising, lust, strength, psychic powers, sage, which is one of the most common used burning herbs is sage, immortality, longevity, wisdom, protection, wishes. St. John was health, Power, protection, strength, love, divination, happiness. Sandalwood, protection, healing, exorcism, spirituality. Sarsaparilla, love, money. Sassafras, health, money. All right, Senna, 
love. All right, um, Slippery Elm, Holtz Gossip. Solomon Seal, Protection Exorcism. Sherelle Wood, Healing Health. Then Southern Wood, which would be Wormwood, is Love, Lust, Protection. Cousin to the Wormwood is Southern Wood. Um, Spearmint, Healing, Love, Mental Powers. Star and Niece. Psychic powers, luck. Strawberry, love, luck. Sugar cane, love, lust. Sweet grass, calling spirits. Sunflowers, fertility, wishes, health, wisdom. All right. Milk thistle, a holy thistle, purification hex breaking, snake enraging, time, health, healing, sleep, psychic powers, love, purification, courage. That's like, shoot, that's time is real good. Tobacco, healing, purification, turmeric, purification, turn up, protection in the relations, ships. Uva Usha, Psychic Workings, Valerian Root, Love, Sleep, Purification, Protection, Vanilla, Love, Lust, Mental Powers, all right, we have Vervain, um, love, protection, purification, peace, money, youth, chastity, sleep, healing. Vedivert, love, ice breaking, love, luck, money, inside theft, violet, protection, luck, love, lust, wisdom, peace. All right, we have walnut, health, mental powers, fertility, wishes. And walnut is also good for the brain too. In fact, you look at the walnut, it looks like two halves of the brain, left and the right hemisphere of the brain. All right, we have witch hazel, protection, chastity, Wormwood, psychic powers, protection, love, calling spirits. All right, we have Yarrow, courage, love, psychic powers, exorcism. You have evening, Pimrose, good for hunting. Yohimbi is good for love, lust, and yucca is transmutation, protection, and purification. Those are the herbs that we carry in our business. Hmm? Yeah, that's, 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 really, that's really interesting right there. You're right. Because it's not just shows you the health benefits of the herbs, but also the magical, the magical powers or properties. Right, right. It's actually really, it's actually really cool. Like, so, so like, if you were to use any of these herbs, like you 
Can you can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you a little bit better now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just asking. You know, how would you how would you have the herb uh, if you were using it for like, protection or like would you would you make it into a tea or something or like would you? Well, you can do it like, both ways. You, like, yeah, you can do it both ways. You can make it into a tea and drink it and fortify protection inside of you. Or wash in it. Oh, okay. And you can also, with certain um, herbs, you can wash your house with it, your rooms. You know, um, got a mop, put it in the floor water. Okay, okay, that's a good one too. Yeah, but if there's negative energy, like for example, there's a, um, you can take cinnamon, as you've seen, cinnamon has a lot of properties, purification and everything. You can take cinnamon and put it in your um, water um, in order to mop your room and you can use the cinnamon in the water and mop your, mop your room or four corners. Oh, wow. Um, you're breaking up again. Sounded like you're underwater. Oh, you you kind of breaking breaking up too. Like, um, yeah, I was asking. I, I was saying it'll probably have the room will probably have like a cinnamon smell too, like from exactly. from mopping it with the water. Exactly, and that's the point. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right, you want to leave the room with a um, scent of cinnamon. The scent of cinnamon. Okay, yeah, that's really good right there. Yeah, because normally I just use like sage, you know, normally that's like the only herb I, I, I've used for like protection or to like burn around the room. Right. Um but 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 the but this list is this is a really good list here. I'll definitely I'm and I'm definitely gonna order some herbs from it from your website too, brother. All right. Appreciate that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so the same way that you see the color of the herbs or the flowers, which are herbs um, or can be used as herbs or weeds that can be used as herbs. When you see the color white is for general cleansing and revitalizing all purpose. Red is to increase vitality, virility and vigor. Um, great to charge up, depress and physically suppress or stress people. Orange, very potent antibacterial and antivirus color. If anyone's infected with a bacteria, um, this is the color to use. And here's an experiment. Get a microscope and look at a strand of bacteria. Now flood the sample of the, um, of, of the bacteria with the color orange or the orange light. And within minutes, it would die. Do not overcharge with orange. It can lead to madness. Yellow for increasing um, concentration and intelligence. Green is for healing of general organs and minor disinfectant. All right. Blue um, helps to um, reduce high excitement and manic depression. Blue is known for its high spiritualness, intuition, honesty, truthfulness, 
concentration and devotion. It is used therapeutically in problems of tumors, infection, anger, um, hatred, eye disease, pineal gland, but it is in, prohibited in conditions of hypertension, paralysis, muscle stiffness, and etc. To break through blockages and muscle knots and create calm, effective uh, effects on stressed organs. Also, a tranquilizer for charging everyone's arm with blue energy. The arm will grow very limp and may not even function. All right, I also see demonstrations with using the color pink and you will become weak utilizing the color pink too. Indigo, it symbolizes intuition, extrasensory perception. Violet, it affects the whole skeleton and nervous system of the body. It's an antiseptic and is a purifier at both physical and spiritual levels and synthesizes the energy of both levels. It is famous for regulating the mineral um, element of the body. It is representative color of the qualities of devotion, um, self, respect, and faith. All right, so these are the seven major colors of the spectrum, which we call the rainbow colors. And these also correlate to your chakra colors, which also correlate to your auric colors, which also correlates to the Bible story of Joseph having a multicolored jacket or robe. This is your multicolored robe. All right, um, go through this right quick. All right, so drinking water on empty stomach is popular in Japan today to drink water immediately after waking up every morning. Furthermore, scientific tests has proven its value for old and serious diseases, as well as moderate illnesses. The water treatment has been found successful by a Japanese medical society as a 100% cure for the following diseases. Headaches, body aches, heart system, arthritis, fast heartbeat, epilepsy, excessive fatness, bronchitis, asthma, TB, meningitis, kidneys, urine diseases, vomiting, gastritis, diarrhea, PALS, which is also hemorrhoids, diabetes, um, constipation, all eye diseases, wound, cancer, and menstrual disorders, ears, nose, and throat diseases. So just drinking water every morning, about a liter of water. Help keep your body healthy and you will not end up with any of these diseases or dis-ease. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. And we're saying this because you can actually utilize the herbs that we just spoke about in your water. But this is why you see Japanese and Chinese 
um, always drinking warm tea. All right, in the morning times, because as you wake up in the morning before brushing your teeth, drink four to 160 milliliter glass glasses of water. Brush and clean the mouth, but do not eat or drink anything for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, you may eat and drink as normal. This is after you get up, all right? After 15 minutes of breakfast, lunch, dinner, do not eat or drink anything for two hours. Those who are old or sick and are able to drink four glasses of water at the beginning may um, commence by taking little water and gradually increasing it to four glasses per day. The above method of treatment was will cure diseases of the sick and others can enjoy a healthy life. All right. So those are methods from um, the following list. Um, number of days treatment required to cure, control, reduce main diseases, high blood pressure, 30 days if you use this method, gastric problems, 10 days, diabetes, 30 days. All right. All right, so also Dr. Sabi told us that the body is electric. So if the body is electric, then you should feed it alkaline, electric nutrition. Alkaline is energy. Viruses, germs, bacteria, which are in the manifestation of diseases, cannot live in an alkaline environment. An alkaline diet promotes a disease-free brain, body, or mind and body. Maintaining a proper pH balance, pH means power hydrogen, hydrogen, power hydrogen balance within your body while providing energy, health, and wellness is essential. Increase your energy enhances nutrition or nutrient absorption and ease digestion. All right. So biodestructive to biogenic foods. Biodestructive foods that is harmful. Um, acidic foods are harmful. Um, biodestructive foods damage and destroys the body organs and cells and depletes the body's ability to heal itself. These foods are toxic. Foods containing chemicals, preservatives, synthetic material, um, artificial colors and flavors, food cooked in aluminum, hormone raised animals, products. All right. Biodegenerative foods that is harmful. Right, biodegenerative foods have a destructive effect over time. They weaken the body and can eventually cause disease. Meats, overcooked and packaged foods, old and rotten food, canned food, food containing inorganic material, processed food, food cooked in oils, food frozen for too long, homogenized and industrially um, processed dairy products, food containing unknown and un pronounceable substances, food made with anger. Right, then we have what is known as biostatic food that is inert. Biostatic food requires time and energy to digest, giving very little, if anything at all, back to the body. These foods may slightly sustain life. Cooked um, fruits, cooked vegetables, cooked grains, cooked beans, frozen food, um, food fro um, dried at high temperatures. Then you have bioactive foods, foods that is helpful. Bioactive foods, which is um, bioenergetic food, you can start getting to the energetic food, alkaline foods, which is helpful. Bioactive foods that is very vital nu um, nutrients, 
and allow the body to function optimally, these foods build and maintain the body's normal processes. Raw, life, organic food, non-GMO, whole foods, amino-rich foods, enzyme-rich foods, foods dried at low temperature. Then you have bioregenerative or biogenic food, foods that heals. All right, biogenic foods repairs the body and promotes longevity and heal and healing. Regenerative food, sprouts and chlorophyll rich food, cultured food, municipal herbs, fresh wild hand picked food, food made with love. Okay. All right, so chemical um, sunlight, these foods are the highest nutrition known to humanity. Chemical sunlight, you have wheatgrass, um, the phy uh, phytoplankton, you have chlorophyll, which is corella, spirulina, uh, blue, green algae, essential oils, in particular essential oils that are the highest would be um, helichrysum, Rose, helichrysum, all right. Rose is the highest. Next is helichrysum, all right. Those are the highest essential oils. You have superfoods, raw chocolate, seaweed, almonds, raw coca, spirulina, lemons, goji berries, mangosteen, limes, in a particular key limes. They mostly consume raw, high life foods, apples, blueberries, um, coconuts, avocados, melons, raspberries, pineapples, mango, strawberries, bananas, peaches, leche, leche um, grapes, cherries, oranges, raw nuts, dates. Okay, foods from the earth, cabbage, lettuce, spinach, peas, kale, cauliflower, carrots, beets, parsnips, turnips, pumpkins, potatoes, sweet potatoes, yams, beans, roasted nuts, right? Then of course, you know, um, things in which that to be discharged, um, animal discharge, as well as also um, dead flesh. We already know what that is. So, One's thoughts must also be alkaline, positive, deep breathing to remove toxins. Of course, 70% um, percent of the waste that's supposed to be removed from the body is supposed to be done so by breathing. 20% by the skin and 10% by defecation and urination. So then one water supply and next one's food supply. Is a general list of alkaline forming foods, which includes most fruits, green vegetables, peas, beans, lentils. Um, all of that is legumes, um, spices, herbs, seasonings, and seeds and nuts. Now, of course, all of this is connected by way of your blood type. All right, your blood type. We have asparagus, apples, um, barley, grass, apricots. Beet greens, avocados, beets, bananas, broccoli, berries. Matter of fact, the word berries in Latin um, means vaccines. So if you eat your berries, then you are automatically vaccinated. You have fresh berries or berries that have not been frozen for too long. Um, it gives the body healing properties of the antioxidant effects and nutrients that these berries have. Check your mood up here. There you go, mood up here. All right, so very, very powerful. All right. Mm -hmm. So did, did you, you want to tell? You say you cold? Okay. All right, so 
Let me look at the rest of these here. You see Brussels sprouts, cabbage. I'm gonna go by row to row. Um, red pepper, which is cayenne pepper. Um, carrots, cauliflowers, celery, greens, corella, um, collard greens, cucumbers, dandelion greens, um, dulce, edible flowers, eggplants, and garlic, green beans, green peas, kale, kelp, lettuce, mustard greens, onions, parsnips, parsley, peas, pumpkins, more um, sea moss, seaweeds, bladder rack, um, dulce, um, green, spinach, spirulina, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, watercress, berries, blueberries, cantaloupes, cherries, sour, coconuts, fresh currant, dried dates, dried figs, grapes, grapefruits, honeydews, melons, lemons, limes, nectarines, um, tangerines, oranges, peaches, pears, pineapples, raisins, raspberries, rhubarb, strawberries, tangerines, if you already said, um, tomatoes, um, sea vegetables, as we talked about already, watermelon. Um, of course, this and wheatgrass. Of course, this list is much larger than Dr. Savy's list. Some of these things he did not recommend. Um, however, we know that there's different blood types, as well as also the fact is that we're talking about um, if they're hybrid by nature or if they're hybrid by man. All right? Some things are hybrid by nature. Nature did it. Cause obviously there was a need on planet Earth to do so. And you have you have foods that have been tempered by man, which is um, hybrid food too. But nowadays it is goes much deeper than that. They have nano technology and nano particles in food now. Right. So if you're talking about now um, artificial foods that is being genetically modified. Organic rice. Okay. And that is not healthy for organic body, as my wife said. All right, so, all right, so here we have the vegetables. We have the color green. They contain um, lectin, an antioxidant that reinforces improved vision. They also have potassium, vitamin C, vitamin K, and uh, folic acid, which also um, the most important thing in which that should be here is magnesium. That's what makes it green. They miss the most important damn vitamin um, mineral is magnesium. <laughs> All right, orange, rich in beta carotene and vitamin C, it helps to promote excellent vision, um, healthy skin, and support strong immune system. Red, uh, rich in um, phytochemicals like um, um, lycopene and um, anthro. Um, cy um, cyanines that improves heart health and diminishes the risk of cancer. And you have purple, rich in antioxidants and fatal um, chemicals, anti-aging, reduces the risk of cancer and supports mental clarity. Then you have white, they're rich in phytochemicals and potassium and helps reduce cholesterol levels um, lower blood pressure and prevents diabetes. And then we have, um, of course, um, alkaline grains and beans, nuts and seeds. All right, emerith, um, buckwheat, camel, mullet, um, millet. Um, quinoa, spelt, lentils, lima beans, almonds, coconuts, flax seeds, hazelnuts, macadamia, nuts, pumpkin seeds, navy beans, pinto beans, red beans, kidney beans, white beans, all right, um, sesame seeds, and sunflower seeds. So what we find is that um, nature amazing 
pharmacy. A sliced carrot looks like a human eye and is greatly enhanced blood flow to the eyes. A tomato has four chambers in it and is red just like a heart. The tomato is loaded with um, lysopenes and that is pure and that is pure heart and blood food. A walnut looks just like the brain and it helps develop more than three dozen neuron transmitters to enhance brain function. Beans are kidney shaped and they heal and help maintain kidney function. So you have kidney problems and you will eat kidney beans. All right, so we know that an alkaline body is um, 7.0 and above. All right, so if a person is ill, then these are the fruits in which that they can use in order to help heal their body and make it more alkaline if their bodies are too acidic, which means that their body would be below 7.0 on the pH um, balance scale. Lemons, 9.0. Um, watermelons, 9.0. Agar, 8.5, which is an alternative to gelatin. Um, cantaloupes and cayenne pepper, 8.5. Dried dates, figs, kelp, um, limes, melons, mangoes, parsley, and papaya, 8.5. Um, sweet and seeded grapes, watercress, asparagus, and seaweeds, 8.5. Right, and death, kiwi and fruit juice, 8.5. Grapes, passion fruit, sweet pears, pineapples, plums, raisins, and vegetable juice, 8.5. Apples, alfalfa sprouts, and um, apricots, 8.0. Um, arrowroot flour, 8.0. So these are some of the um, fruits and vegetables that we eat on a daily basis in which that um, has an alkaline pH balance for our system. All right, these, this here is a guide to um, pesticides and produce. So the highest in pesticides are apples, all right? Um, these 12 popular fresh vegetables and fruits consistently contains high amounts of pesticides um, by these organic apples, bell peppers, celery, cherries, grapes imported. All right, unless once again, they're organic. Nectarines, peaches, pears, potatoes, red um, raspberry, spinach, strawberries. The lowest in pesticides, these are the 12. You have asparagus, avocados, bananas. Um, and that's the only if you're gonna get the bananas as burrow bananas, the small bananas. The dull bananas, those are all, those are even being genetically modified. So therefore, um, still wouldn't be good to utilize. Broccoli, cauliflower, corn, which is also being um, GMO, kiwi, mangoes, onions, papaya, pineapples, and peas. All right, avocados, ripe bananas, berries, celery, carrots, curry, fresh dates and um, figs and, and um, garlic has an 8.0 alkalinity, guava, grapefruits, Leaf green vegetables, leafy green lettuce, nectarines, peaches, pears, fresh peas, persimmons, um, pumpkin, um, sea salt vegetables, and spinach, 8.0. Fresh green beans, um, bell peppers, beets, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and carrot, 7.5. Fresh ginger, kale, green. Green um, lettuce, parsnip, 
oranges, potatoes with skin, raspberry, strawberry, and squash, 7.5. Um, fresh um, organic sweet corn and tamari, 7.5. Turnip and apple cider, 7.5. Um, almonds, 7.0. Artichokes, barley melt, um, malt, Brussels sprouts, brown um, rice, um, syrup, um, cherries, fresh coconut, eggplants, cucumbers, raw honey, leeks, marsh, mushrooms, okra, and ripe olives, 7.0. Onions, pickles, tomatoes, um, water, chestnut, amaranth, artichoke, um, um, horseradish, olive oil, millet, quinoa, rhubarb, 7.0. Spice, spices, mustard, nutmeg, pistachios, macadamia nuts, cashews, um, chest, um, chestnuts, um, pumpkins, sunflower seeds, walnuts, Brazil nuts, um, pecans, um, prunes, blueberries, cranberries, 7.0, honey, lentils, unprocessed maple syrup, unsulfured, organic molasses, 7.0. So you can determine if the product is organic, conventional, or GMO by the digits on the stickers. Five digits code starting with nine means organic. Four digit code starting with four means conventional. And five digit code starting with eight means GMO. All right, so we were talking about the herbs for the organs, ginkgo balaba, cayenne pepper, as you see for the brain, also ginseng and kelp, those are good for the brain. Here they shown that the coca, um, motherwort, garlic, turmeric is good for the heart. They also shown that mullein and yerba um, santa and yarrow and peppermint is good for the lungs. They're also shown that's good for the liver is milk thistle, artichoke, burdock, root, and dandelion, as we talked about earlier. Then you have good for the stomach is chamomile, golden seal, licorice, fennel. All right. Good for the kidneys, ginger, cranberry, astragalus, and bilberry. All right. Like this is the aloe vera plant that we was talking about. This is how it looks. Aloe ferox looks nearly identical to the aloe vera plant. You wouldn't have known the difference. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, it's native to Africa. The roots go 90 feet down into the soil as we talked about. So it's very um, nutritious. All right, you can actually um, take the um, sap, it's very bitter, it can be used as bitter crystals. You can dry it. And when you do that, um, you can actually take the crystals one to three a day in which that um, this plant itself is used for antibacterial, antiviral, antiparasite, um, helps diminish your pain, benefits anti-inflammatory um, um, action, Helps with the digestive system. Helps to maintain um, detoxification, disinfectant. Also helps to maintain regular bowel movement by um, helping um, in the digestive process.
right? Um, bee pollen is um has a high nutritive uh, value, good source for quick energy. Is excellent for allergies, high um hay fever, hypoglycemia, asthma, um prostate um gland endurance, stamina, fertility, and longevity. All right. We're just going over some of the herbs that we didn't go over the other night. Um, black seed. Um, black seed is said to be the cure for everything but death. All right. Oh, wow. It says to be the cure for everything but death. All right. That's what it says. They have even been called the remedy for everything but death. So. Um, we keep that in mind. That means black seed can be used for basically everything. All right. Now see, I do have a different All right. Um, let's see. Wait, this is Damiana. All right, Damiana is very powerful um, plant used to restore the natural sexual capacity and function in men and women. It is used for energy, longevity, sexual stimulant, prostate gland, um, hormone balance, infertility, impotency, female problems, frigidity, um, hot flashes, menopause. It is also good for um, bronchitis, emphysema, asthma, senility, Parkinson's disease and et cetera. This is diatomaceous earth. Has 85% silica. You want it organic. This is um, mostly used in order to help with the digestive system, to cleanse the digestive system, to kill, um, to remove and purge the body from heavy metals parasites, toxins, and, and negative excessive bacterias. All right, faux tea. Faux tea is real powerful. My research indicates that this herb contains an alkaloid that has rejuvenative or rejuvenating effects on the nerves, brain cells, and endocrine gland. It stimulates um, portions of the adrenal glands and helps to detoxify the body. All right, it also helps to um, Remove inflammation from the lymph nodes and your lymphatic system and remove toxins and waste from there. It is also um, used to boost your immune system and increase sexual vigor. In fact, um, Chu Yun, a famous Chinese herbalist who reportedly lived to be 256 years old, used faux tea on a daily basis. Oh, shit. So this herb is thought to have been responsible for both long life and his, his legendary sexual powers. Cause he had 24 wives during that time period. Damn. All right. And another Chinese legend, Fo T was thought to be responsible for returning natural black color um, to a previous gray headed man. It's called Ho Shu Wu. Or Hei Shu Wu. All right. Um, so Fo T 
um, is the root that grows on the ground and allegedly in the shape of a man and a woman, all right? All right, he also used ginseng, which is the king of tonics in the plant kingdom. It stimulates the whole body, slows down the aging process. Thus it promotes longevity, Ginseng strengthens the endocrine glands. It has been used for sexual stimulant, um, hormone balance, circulation issues, relief of depression, prevents diabetes, heart problems, prostate swelling, and nerve damage. Right, he also used guadacola. It's an excellent food. It's good for energy, fevers, inflammation, stress, mental fatigue, nerves, high blood pressure, epilepsy. All right, so right here, Hawthorn, um, horsetail. Horsetail, this is how it looks. It strengthens the hair, fingernails, teeth, enamels. It is used for fractions, broken bones, wounds, feet, nervous disorders, urinary disorders, baldness, um, diabetes, improved the heart, liver, eyes, and lungs. Moringa. This is moringa. All right, moringa is a superfood. It's considered to be the most nutritious, rich land plant on earth. Moringa leaves have been consumed by Africans and Asian people for millennials as a healthy food product containing more than 90 nutrients and 45 and, um, antioxidants. This very um, great uh, green leaves are nature's super power food. So this is how moringa looks. Um, actually, you would see it without growing for many, for, for many years before you even see them flower. They're just look these leaves and you can actually in the, in the tender ages of the moringa, you can actually pluck the leaves off and just eat them right off the plant. Oh shit! I've done it because we grow moringa. Hey, this is mullen. This is how mullen looks. And mullen is excellent for the lungs. It also used as a tea for childhood diseases, eyes, earaches, fevers, hay fever. Hoarseness, cough, sore throat, sinus, congestion, bronchitis, asthma, pneumonia, etc. Even COVID-19. It is good um, for the digestive system, colon, constipation, skin problems, rashes, boils, bruises, um, poison ivy, oak, warts, and etc. Swollen glands, hemorrhaging, hemorrhoids, and etc. And this is myrrh. Myrrh was one of the three things that was brought to Jesus as a baby. He had frankincense, myrrh, and gold brought to him. Frankincense and myrrh, what was the properties? Well, let's make it here for, for, myrrh, for um, myrrh. Myrrh is a natural antibiotic and a blood purifier. It acts as a, an um, antiseptic on cuts, infections, sores, and wounds. It treats and heals bad breath, um, gums, Mouth sores, sore um, throats, toothaches, cankers, boils, ulcers, digestive disorders, nervous disorders, menstrual cramps, diabetes, and etc.
raspberry. You look at red raspberry. It strengthens the female organs, such as the uterus and the entire reproductive system. Therefore, it is good to use during the whole pregnancy. It is used for menstrual um, cramps, morning sickness, in childbirth, afterbirth, childhood diseases, nervous disorders, digestive disorders, diabetes, lactation, endocrine, um, mouth sores, cankers, ulcers, sore throats, eye wash, colds, flu, bronchitis, and fractions. All right, this is one of the only herbs that the woman can use before, during, and after her pregnancy to be healthy and heal. All right, this is sore plemento. This is what I was telling you, sore plemento. This is how it looks. Sore plemento is beneficial for all your glandular tissue, especially for the sex glands. It promotes pregnancy. It has also been used to increase, um, help increase the size of small breasts. It is also acts as a regulator of hormones as well as um, weight. It is used for alcoholism, um, aphrodisiac, asthma, bladder problem, bronchitis, colds, diabetes, um, frigidity, digestion, impotency, um, prostate gland, um, mucus congestion, um, obesity, and etc. <laughs> Like this is slippery elm. This is how slippery elm look. It is used for all lung problems, asthma, bronchitis, colds, flu, hoarseness, tonsillitis, sore throat, smoking, and etc. It is excellent for the digestive system, stomach, colon, ulcers, constipation, diarrhea, bladder, um, uterus, ovaries, vagina, eyes, and etc. Turmeric. Turmeric. Uh, turmeric um, has long been used as a powerful anti-inflammatory um, um, in both Moorish and Indian systems of medicine. Um, turmeric was a traditionally called saffron because of its dark, deep yellow, orange color and has been used throughout history as an anti-inflammation um, agent in its wide use a variety of conditions, including flatulation, um, jaundice, menstrual difficulties, bloody urine, um, hemorrhaging, toothaches, bruises, chest pain, cancer, and colic. So when we're talking about saffron, we're talking about turmeric. Turmeric can be used um, in the eyes as a, um, you can make it into a tea and actually take a dropper and just drip, drop it into the eyes. All right, valerian, valerian root. It is one of the best nerve tonics. Valerian is very relaxing to the whole system. It soothes pain and promotes sleep. It has a tranquilizing um, effect similar to volume. Matter of fact, volume, uh, valerian is what Volume is made from, is derived from that. It is used for convulsions, epilepsy, paralysis, shock, fever, um, childhood diseases, digestive disorders, insomnia, fatigue, pain, um, sedation, um, headaches, migraines, nervousness, um, heart, um, heartburn, high blood pressure, and etc. All right, next is wormwood. All right, wormwood known also as sweet wormwood and it ain't that sweet about it, I promise you. <laughs> that's, that's just like calling, um, 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 what's his name, Tiny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's, that's, that's wordplay. <laughs> Okay, that's wordplay. <laughs> All right, it's, the most, it's one of the most bitterest herbs you can take. 
for this herb has been long used in herbal oh. remedies to rid the body of pinworms, roundworms, and other parasites. It's recommended for um, traditional use of liver inf um, insufficiency, kidneys, edema, asthma, um, excuse me, anemia, and absence of the menstrual cycle. It is also good for anxiety and gout, and it is generally good for all diseases that involve retention of water and tissue. It is also used for anti-spasmic um, flow of bowel, um, menstrual irregularities, sedativeness, um, so simul um, simulation of physiologic um, processes, general health, joint inflammation, digestion, nerve uh, nutritious or nutrient absorption, um, anorexia nervosa, um, vosa, um, anti tumor activity, womb healing, muscle sprain, gallbladder dysfunction. All right, so wormwood is excellent for all of that. All right. Um, yellow dock. All right, it's real good. Thank oh, that's you. the one you said. Uh, that's the one you told me to take for the thyroid. Exactly. I think so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. All right. So yeah, that's actually the one that I was that I wanted to order from you online. I was right. gonna ask. How much? How much should I take? Like, how much should I order? Um, like of 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 the of that of that the yellow doc. Like, how much? How much should I order? And then and how and how much should I actually take? You know, you know when I take the herb. Um. Well, we do it by the ounce. So, um, I think an ounce is like about two dollars, two dollars and fifty cents, something like that. So, you get an ounce. So you can use like one fourth of a teaspoon um in um some water or as a tea and i advise that you use some honey <laughs> or or um okay. or some um <laughs> oh, what's the other way uh, there's so many others date syrup you can use um hold on brother okay date syrup Thank you. 